One minute. Thank the gentleman from Ohio. Officer Tiffany Victoria Enriquez, Officer Kalika Kalama, Sheriff Sheldon Gordon Whitemill, Officer Catherine Mary Tyne. I could go on and on 113 times the names of law enforcement officers who died in the line of duty, who were killed last year in 2020, 113. And we're on the floor of the House of Representatives with a bill gutting the qualified immunity that helps protect our law enforcement officers. Without so much as a hearing, without so much as coming back to talk to us and work with us since last June. Why? Because this is all political. This is all political. When we talk about defunding, I'm from Austin, Texas. $150 million cut from the police budget there. And what did my Democrat colleagues do last Friday? Jam through half of $500 billion for state and local governments funding the very Democratic cities that are gutting our law enforcement officers, taking away what they need to be able to exist. And with the rate that what happened in Austin, a 50% increase in murder rate. We lost the greatest cadet class we Gentlemen's had. Gentlemen's time has expired. This bill is a sham. We should oppose it. Gentlemen, time has expired. Gentlemen reserves. Gentlemen from New York.